Joe Ben Bevert first thought about building an airplane that could take off and land like a helicopter in second grade while trudging up the 4.5-mile road to his family's home in an off-grid hippie settlement among the Redwoods in Northern California. It was L-O-N-N-N-N-N-G Hill, Bevert says, laughing. It made me dream about a better way. Four decades later, Bevert is closing in on that goal. On a ranch outside Santa Cruz, the surfing mecca near where he grew up, Bevert has secretively developed an electric airplane with six tilting propellers that he says can carry a pilot and four passengers 150 miles at up to 200 miles per hour, while being quiet enough to disappear among the hum of city life. He envisions the as-yet unnamed aircraft, which experts speculate could cost $400,000 to $1.5 million to manufacture, as the foundation for a massive rooftop-to-rooftop -rooftop air taxi network, one he plans to build and run himself. His aspiration is to free urbanites from snarled roads and save a billion people an hour a day at the same price, he hopes, as an UberX ride, or roughly $2.50 a mile. It sounds crazy, but Bevert, 47, has some powerful believers. Toyota pumped roughly $400 million into his Joby Aviation in January, joining investors including Lorene Powell Jobs Emerson Collective and Jeff Skoll's Capricorn Investment Group, the latter of which was also an early Tesla backer. In all, Joby has raised $745 million, most recently at a valuation of $2.6 billion. Toyota CEO Akio Toyota told Bevert he hopes, through Joby, to realize the flying car dreams of his grandfather Kiichiro, Toyota Motors founder, who developed aircraft before World War II. Toyota engineers are refining components of Joby's aircraft to make it easier to build on a mass scale more akin to the auto industry than aviation, and helping Bevert set up a factory in Monterey County where he plans to produce thousands of aircraft a year. Joby is the best funded and most valuable of an explosion of startups leveraging advances in batteries and electric motors to try to wean aviation off fossil fuels and create new types of aircraft, including autonomous ones, to serve as air taxis. No one knows how big the industry could get, or if it will get off the ground at all, but Wall Street is spitballing some big numbers. One report from Morgan Stanley estimates the category could generate $674 billion a year in fares worldwide by 2040. If we can fly, we can turn our streets into parks and fundamentally make our cities much nicer places to live in, Bevert says. Dreamers have been trying, and failing, to build flying cars for 100 years. Skeptics think Joby and its competitors are still at least a decade too early, Today's best batteries pack 14 times less usable energy by weight than jet fuel. Given how much brute power is needed to propel an aircraft straight up, they say, until batteries improve, electric air taxis will have too little range and carrying capacity to make business sense.